Hi everyone, this is Brian Anderson with Anderson Pens, and today we're taking a look at the Iboya fountain pens, handmade uh, ebonite fountain pens from Japan. So let's take a look. I've got a couple models here, and we are uh, broadcasting here from the store. All right, so here we have the Yatade model. I've got it in two sizes here, large, and then there's a medium. Now they also make this pen in a small size as well as an oversize. Um, these are made by the Nikko Ebonite Manufacturing Company in Tokyo, Japan. Um, they're handmade. They take six months or more to make. Um, and we just got our first shipment in yesterday. And you'll find more information uh, on the blog uh, coming shortly. This one here is the large size. It's uh, pretty big in the hand. This is the Akebono Red. And uh, as you can see, the ebonite is carved and it's shaped like a piece of bamboo. Uh, yes, we will have them in Ohio. Um, nice gold clip on it. This one here is also large in size and is Kaze Blue. Now it looks a little more green, um, but it's kind of a blue green, almost a teal. Uh, in size and you can see the one right next to it now these two on the right are the medium size so the large is a little bit fatter the uh, the medium a little bit slimmer but not by much it's still a decent size um, uh, also in the same same two colors uh, with clips uh, there are some clipless options. Now these are custom. These are custom made, so you can get pretty much any uh, any combination of anything that you want. Um, if we don't have it, it's going to be at least six months to get. Uh, these come with 14 karat nibs made by Bach. Uh, price range on these starts around 400, goes up to 535 for the large. Um, cartridge converter fillers can also use them as eyedroppers. A uh, little silicone grease um, comes with the cartridge, does not come with the converter, but you can use, uh, they recommend Pelican actually. A little bit of shot of the imprint of Boya made in Tokyo. Uh, this is a nice size. So they have the nib units on screw. Uh, it's not a Rushi, it's just raw ebonite. So we have those, and then we also have, let me bring over the next one. The Kiyuka, and this is in Shinryu Beige. Now, if you're a vintage fan and you're looking at this and thinking this looks familiar, it, it's because it does. It's inspired by uh, 1920s, 1930s, and Onodos. In this case, it's a screw cap. Again, with a uh, 14 karat Bach nib. Uh, this is the small size in the Kiyuka. And, uh, but still, it's not really small. I mean, in my hand, I'm holding on to it. It's decent length. Posted, it's excellent. Um, I'm put it on here. You can see how it's, it's fairly, uh, fairly nice and uh, even for the small pen. Now, they make them, like I say, they make them in four sizes. Uh, small, medium, large. Uh, and also there's an oversize. Um, this is a really pretty, pretty pattern. It has, if we can uh, focus here, it's got some knurling on the, the end here and on the back end. A little bit closer look at the pattern. And uh, really, really cool, cool looking pen. Some of these, the caps, you can see a little bit of a where the ebonite comes together is almost like almost looks like a little flower. And how they've scooped them out. So these are Eboyas, and uh, we will uh, we will have these as well as uh, others as they come in. And like I say, six month wait on these, but uh, they're handmade and uh, they're pretty awesome. So uh, like I say, we'll have them in Columbus with us at the pen show. So you can see them firsthand there, and uh, if you have any questions, uh, shoot me an email. Have a good weekend, folks.